Yes, there you go. Are you recording? Yes. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> uh, welcome to the review lessons. This is our third review. Review. No, it's not our third review. We're up to lesson 115. Which is part of our third review. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's well said. Okay. Um, for morning and evening review, the first one is salvation is my only function here. Salvation is my only function here. Hmm. My function here is to forgive the world for all the errors I have made. For thus am I released from them with all the world. Wow, there you go. My function here is to forgive the world for all the errors I have made. For thus am I released from them with all the world. So, sis, would you say this is just a different wording for um, my function really is to forgive myself mm -hmm. for the world of errors, the world of errors that I have made? Yes. Oh, my Lord. Okay, right. I get it. All right, forgive myself. For thus am I released from them with all the world. Because as I release myself from the errors, which is believing in the mythical me, the ego, mm -hmm. and what it sees and all of its judgments, then I'm also releasing everyone else, all my brothers and sisters with me, right? Because a few lessons ago, we were just acknowledging our oneness with God and all of creation, right? So when we're with our right mind and we're forgiving ourselves ourse for errors, we're forgiving it for the one mind that we share. So it's blessing everyone. So That's again, it. there's no such thing as personal healing. Mm -hmm. Only the ego has personal healing. Mm -hmm. Individual, no, not individualized. Privatized compartmentalized right yeah 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 okay is this helpful yes the next the next one is my part is essential to god's plan for salvation i am essential to the plan of god for the salvation of the world for he gave me his plan that i might save the world Mm. boy it's a lot of responsibility isn't it <laughs> it's all on you sis don't screw this up <laughs> thanks my Ooh. salvation depending on you getting this right <laughs> uh, so uh, what i'm getting from this is my part is essential to god's plan for salvation mm -hmm. i'm essential to the plan of god for the salvation of the world in other words, if I am missing mm -hmm. in action, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yes. Um, then the entire sonship really can't heal fully until I choose to show up and and to activate right. or, or to join my part, which is essential in God's God's plan for salvation. And, and the beautiful thing that's happening nowadays is that I really, I really know this, I don't know how, but it's just a feeling thing, you know, that there's so much light coming into the world because there's so many light workers and so many of us that are seeing through the facade and the illusions and really are, are seeking, asking for the light that that's coming in. And that's why the world seems to be in so much tumult right now, because the resistance is at an all time high in defense to the light that's coming in. So. The point being is that as these minds begin to awaken the the tipping point in consciousness it's it's just like a wildfire that catches you know um or, or fire through dry grass it just as minds begin to awaken it just catches and one one healed mind starts to affect all the minds that it rests upon and and those that are open to it become changed they in turn serve as the ripple effects that go out from this healing that's taking place but um you know fortunately jesus is in charge of the atonement and it, it's it's already done 
but we've got to accept it. And so while we've got our foot in the other camp saying, oh, I'm still like mythical me, you know, um, atonement cannot be uh, accepted completely. Um, and it, it's going to happen, but uh, we've got to do our part. Yeah. In 2012, I had an experience when I was in, that was my first trip to Israel this lifetime. Hmm. Uh, had an experience that uh, involved Jesus directly telling me that, um, <clears throat> that I had a major obstacle to overcome and that he was prepared to help me with it. And that was false humility. Mm. I've since realised that it wasn't just my issue alone, that it's probably everyone's issue to some extent. Mm -hmm. you know? And that is, is this, this idea that I'm not essential to God's plan for mm. salvation. Right. I'm not all right who the hell am i yeah but that's the ego again it that's loves true. that false humility mm -hmm. just loves it just says look i'm not worthy of this mm -hmm. and uh, it's not true we can't really know love fully we can't really know our beloved holy self fully until we're willing to give holy spirit that false humility as well, that feeling of not being worthy. Yeah. That ties into the grandeur versus grandiosity. It's yeah. if we knew the grandeur that we are as the son of God, often, you know, it's helpful to sit back and just contemplate, I am the child of God, you know, God is my creator. <laughs> Okay, there, you know, there comes a lot with that. So in the grandeur that must associate or attach to what you are because of that fact. Mm. So the ego goes, oh, no, 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 no. You know, it doesn't matter what you do. No one's going to see it. It's not going to make a bit of difference. Um, but then it gives us its really flimsy um, counterpart, its thought of grandiosity. Oh, you're going to feel very complete and, and um, feel quite smug and smart about yourself, depending on how much you accomplish or amass or who you're with or the size of your car or your house or whatever. Yeah, that's its cheap substitute. Look at the little trinkets I'm offering you so you don't remember your grandeur. So false humility has to go and we need to be willing to accept. What does that mean? Father, mother, God, or Holy Spirit, you know, show me. What does it mean that I am the child of God, a son of God? Mm, good practice to do yeah our grandeur is um, not isolated to one speck our grandeur is shared with every brother and sister of god it's really shared thank god because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's real then only what's shared is real thank god yeah. it's it has to apply to everybody yeah okay um Okay, so where are we up to? I'm up to the second part now. Um, nope, you're on the third part, on the hour. On the hour. On the hour, salvation is my only function here. And on the half hour, my part is essential to God's plan for salvation. That's it. Thank you. So we join with you in a solid prayer that you do not um, fall for the ego's uh, seduction into distractions mm. for this day you know try and stick to it mm -hmm. if you can and then if you miss any do not judge yourself for it because that's the ego judging us yeah thanks sis yeah thank you okay you guys thanks again for traveling with us through these review lessons um they're short but mighty and uh we're we're taking them in deeply with you so thanks again and we'll see you next time yeah and we will change our clothes next time bye <laughs> <laughs>